Hi, I am John Lira, and in this demo, I want to show you how to configure Informatica's data quality solution to use Informatica's Metadata Manager. Now, Metadata Manager is a software solution from Informatica that allows you to provide data lineage as well as business glossary. And what I want to do is answer the question, how can I configure data quality to use that? So, Again, this is only to configure, not to show you how to use Data Quality Analyst, nor how to use Metadata Manager. So as a basic outline, things I need to do is check the license, configure a Metadata Manager service, and then configure the analyst and test it to make sure that it's running. So let me minimize this. This is the problem that I'm trying to solve. If I go to Informatica Analyst and I log in, notice that what I have, and this assumes a pre-configured analyst, developer, and the Informatica services that are necessary. So what I want to do is go to Manage and click on Business Terms to access the Business Glossary and notice the problem. Cannot find the Metadata Manager service unable to launch Metadata Manager tab. So what I need to do first of all is go to the Administrator Console and I'm going to log in as Administrator and password is Admin and first thing I'm going to see is that I do not have a metadata meta metadata metadata manager service. So the first thing I want to do is create such a service. But before I can do that, if you see create metadata manager, I got to check a few things that I need in place. One is an uh, a schema for the repository that metadata manager uses. In our case, it will be an Oracle schema and then also that I have a license. Now I see the license and I do have a license object for it so the only thing I need to do now is go ahead and create the Oracle schema. Now I'm simply going to use the SQL developer and uh, knowing where I create this and this is something you can ask your DBA to create for you. I'm going to create an Oracle schema and assuming that I have the permissions I am going to call this mm underscore rep which is the name of my metadata repository and I am going to give it the same username and password uppercase mm underscore rep and then I'll just configure the table spaces that are appropriate as always you again you can speak to your DBA to create this for you if you want and then I'm just going to go ahead and system privileges because I don't have any manual in front of me I'll just grant all and um, and and basically grant all of course you got to be more specific than what I'm doing here but I'm just trying to create this uh, rather rapidly and there it is granting almost everything that I can think of assuming that's done correctly I will close this and now my user has been created which is an empty schema here it is there's nothing in it so now this will be used by the metadata manager service going back to the administrator console I will go ahead and create a brand new metadata manager service and you're right this seems like a lot of work just to get data quality analysts or data quality developer to use it but again I am creating a service I'm gonna call this mm underscore SVC as the name of my service feel free to choose one that you think is more appropriate the license file and the machine that this is on and this is how you create almost any metadata repository you can always look at the Informatica administrators courses for this. Now the associated integration service is a pre-existing and running power center integration service and then the repository username that the integration service uses the repository username and password I'm just using the administrator console of course your administrators may not like this but I'm just trying to create this rather quickly and logging in as much as I can as administrator. I will click next. Now don't forget the code, uh, the data type first is an Oracle data type. That's the one that I'm using. And a code page, I would use UTF-8, making sure that's correct. Now the connect string here is my SID. In my case, it is info ORCL. And the database username that I want for this. In this case, what I want to do is is connect, uh, specify the database pro properties for this metadata base servers. Here I want is m, m underscore rep, 
which is the name of my metadata repository. Remember that I also gave it the same username and password. Table space, I'll skip. Host name is the name of my machine in which I am installed. In my case, it is info, info dash server. Port number, by default, it is 1520, 1521, which is Oracle. And I'm using a SID. And again, I specify info or RCL. Click next. This is all the properties that are associated with the MM service and it uses the newly created schema. And now notice the port number that MM uses 10250 and the agent or the client portion will use 10251 by default. I don't want any key store and at this moment I click finish and I'm pretty much done creating the service. If everything goes well I will then go ahead and enable it. But before I do that, notice it says the repository has no content. In this case, while it is disabled, I'm going to go to Actions, and I'm going to go ahead and create the content. So my uh, Create Content, and just click OK. So this is going to create the metadata into the MM Rep user account that I've created. And so this is the repository that will be used by the metadata manager service. It's going to populate it. It's going to create a lot of metadata. And in a few moments, it'll be done, at which point I can then go ahead and enable my service. Once that's done, I then just need a few more steps to connect this. And I'm just going to wait here while this is being created. It'll take a few moments. OK, my content has been created. And notice that the port number used for the service is 10250, and the agent, as I said, is 10251. At this moment, all I've got to do is enable the service, which means recycle it. And I'm pretty much done with the service. Whether you plan to use Metadata Manager with data quality or as a standalone, this is the same procedure. You create the service. Typically, this will be done by your administrator. And I am waiting for the service to be enabled. While it's doing that, let me go ahead to Actions and Refresh just to make sure that things are progressing. And it's still I still see the screen saying Enable. So while it's doing that, I'll just let it continue. What I'm going to do is go find the Data Quality Analyst Service. So what I want to do is go find where the DQ Analyst Service, and this will be almost the finishing touches. So I have it under a folder called IDQ Dev. You see the at data quality service there. What I want to do now is say and tell it which metadata manager service I need to use. So I scroll down and I see metadata manager service options. I will edit. And this is how we make the connection to it. Select it and there goes my service. Now remember it was still coming up so hopefully it's up already so that this will then work and your changes will not take effect until you recycle the service yes alright so I need to recycle the analyst service but let me see what happens and let me go to the domain and make sure that my metadata manager service in fact has finished before I recycle the analyst service so I clicked on domain and I'll just wait here to see uh, when it shows and notice it takes a while. Let me refresh it again. And finally, you see that my metadata manager service is up and running. So it did take a while, and do be patient. It takes, I would give myself 12 minutes for it, any, tween, any time between 9 and 12 minutes to make sure that it's up. Now remember that the analyst service should have been already configured. The only thing I did not do was to recycle it because I was waiting for the metadata manager service to be up and so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and bring up the analyst service remember that I configured if you see it here at the bottom it says metadata manager service options I've already connected it to the MM service which is my metadata manager and as soon as this, this is enabled what I will do is test it And now it looks that the analyst service is up and running and we'll test it. I can click on it from here or I can actually just click 
and log into the analyst service. And I'm going to log in as administrator because uh, I'm going to log into the analyst service as administrator because that's the only user that's been configured already to work. Now, of course, you would ask your administrator to set up users properly. And so I'm going to log in as username administrator, password administrator, admin. And now the only thing that I want to do is test and see if Metadata Manager is now working. So I'm not teaching you how to use Data Quality Analyst nor Metadata Manager, simply how you would connect them. So now that the Metadata Manager service is ready, if I click Business Terms, I should then be able to use Informatica's Metadata, Metadata Manager and Business Glossary and be ready to go ahead and work. And that was the purpose of, of this demo, to have a data quality person, user, be able to leverage the Metadata Manager solution for both Business Glossary and, of course, if you have a full-blown license for Metadata Manager, create data lineage. And that's about as far as I can go. There is nothing, there is nothing uh, that has been built if you were to take the class or learn how to use Metadata Manager, you could see that you can create various models, uh, create and edit the models, and load. But that's a whole different module on how to use Metadata Manager. So that concludes our demo. And so I want to thank you. And again, I am John Lira. And the purpose was this to create the Metadata, Metadata Manager service so that Informatica Data Quality could use it. Thank you.